After the first uh, steps which have been implemented, like Turkey, Argentina, uh, we have done also China, South Korea. So the following markets now will have to be implemented. So the next step will be Saudi Arabia. It will be also uh, <coughs> Jordan, Ukraine, US and, uh, and Europe. Uh, and we should not forget uh, Russia and Brazil, uh, for which there are some, uh, still some uh, new elements to come. And it's not fully clear, but it's, it's going better. So, so the, the next steps for, uh, for Sanofi, in fact, uh, uh, for us, it will, be, uh, <coughs> it will be the implementation of the, the lines for these new markets, of course. And a big effort will have to be done also for connecting our CMOs uh, on our three PLs, because we have to link with our three PLs for reporting to authorities. And uh, it's very important. So today, roughly, we have covered 20% uh, of our lines in terms of implementation. And uh, we need, of course, to, to cover 80% uh, remaining for uh, the end of 2018, roughly. I think this, this three years will be necessary and it will be a stretch uh, challenge also because uh, three years is not so much to implement uh, so many lines and uh, also to, to link with uh, the CMOs because as many companies we have a lot of CMOs. I think a special effort will have to be done for the 3PLs because the 3PL is probably the distribution part which uh, we have seen that in the presentation also this morning which are not fully covered today and uh, we have started already but there is still a lot to do. I think the, the top challenge in our company has been to, to implement uh, a centralized project in a decentralized organization because we have many, many sites, more than 50 sites which are impacted and therefore it was really a challenge to, to design, to develop, to implement a core model at uh, all these sites because it was the first time in the company that the core model was going uh, at the line level. Previously the core model are mainly IT systems that you deploy in different uh, sites, but uh, going to the line level is really a revolution and uh, serialization is also a revolution because you move the traceability at batch level to the traceability at uh, unit of sales, at carton level, which is uh, really a, a big challenge for everyone. I think the, the, the cost roughly based on the experience we had in Turkey because uh, we were the first to implement in Turkey uh, one big uh, factory plus one distribution center for aggregation in Turkey. So based on that we learned a lot and uh, we were able to, to really uh, plan, focus some cost and also some steps to implement which were quite accurate. Where is going to be changing is the scope, the perimeter of the project. Because when we designed our project in uh, the end of 2013, early 2014, we had uh, <coughs> a certain level of regulation. But now we have uh, Russia in addition. We have uh, also um, animal health, where we are impacted in China also. So the, the number of uh, sites which are impacted is growing and the number of lines is growing. So the, the, the cost Evolution will come from the fact that we have a bigger perimeter, uh, more than uh, a lack of uh, anticipation, because with the core model we were quite able to, to predict. I think the, the, one of the key points is uh, reporting to authorities because uh, all the transfer of the data is really uh, very, uh, very difficult because we, have, uh, we are not always able to be involved in the, in the working group at the government or at the governance level because it's going very quickly. That's the reason why uh, we should have some uh, efforts done to mutualize the solution for reporting and to use uh, special, specific providers to be able to report to the authorities because uh, 
it's very difficult to, to, if everyone has to build a specific interface with all the authorities, with all the CMO, with all the three PLs, it's going to be very, very expensive and very, very complex. So I think there is a, a big uh, improvement to be done also in uh, standardization, harmonization of the solution, harmonization of the way of reporting in order to have uh, some improvements on some uh, in, uh, so some benefits. Otherwise, uh, it's going to increase the complexity, it's going to increase the cost, and there is a risk that the, the solution at the end will not be efficient.